Okay, here we're doing the word love. This is a very common word, very commonly requested recently, actually, so that's why I'm on it now. Um, we're dealing with we've some great letters. We've got some awesome options available to us. So first, let's look at the simple way to connect them. When you're starting Descript, the simple way is just take these and arrange them vertically. So we've got L, O. Now the V is not drawn here, but it's clearly indicated in the manual. There's a When you're connecting words, you often use a word line. So this word line here is used for a lot of letters, like the L, you can see. The L, the word line, is not part of the word or part of the letter. It just helps connect to the letter. So the V has the same thing. It looks, turns into kind of like an arrow pointing down. So we've got L, and I should have made that L sh narrower to make sure it doesn't look like a D. So L, O, V, E. This is the simplest version. It's not bad. I kind of like it. Someone's got his arms up in the air. Or there's something down there. I'm not sure what you can do with it. You can definitely uh, skew it and rotate it and ad adopt this to make it look like something nice. Especially if you make maybe that V, that E smaller there. I think that's that might look good really small. Yeah, not bad. Okay, so what options do we have for double combinations here? Well, we start the word with an L. First thing we know about L's is they're very nice because they give us four connection points. Now, one of them, the top one, is always coming from the preceding letter. So when you start the word with L, you can't really you build in reverse and go up. So that one's not there. But we've got these three options here. So when we start with our L, we could put our O anywhere we like, really. And it's still L-O. So let's see what we can do with that. We can go L O V. E, we can go L, O, V, E, and we can go, and then we use the one we were just looking at, L, O, V, E. So that, those are some neat options. They're drawn very ugly, but you can see, you can play with them as you like. The other thing we can do is we can then look down the line, and we've got O, V. O, V can be connected like so. This is O, V. Remember, this is E, this is O, V, and this is E, V. Okay? Pretty simple. So, if we use that, we've got L, O, V. And as before, we can put that O, V anywhere we like. We could then put the, the following E here, in this case. We could put the E here or here, in this case. Actually, no, that's not acceptable, sorry. There's the best, and there would be best. I don't like this one. It's best not to do that so that you, your eye is reading top, then the left, then it doesn't feel right. This one feels a little better, and this is, of course, the easiest to read. The sequence is still there. It's just a matter of you got to be careful. Oh, and remember, if we were to put the OV here and the E here, why is it LOV? Because you start with the L, obviously. Top, Descript is top, bottom, left to right, and then outside to inside. So we'd start here and we go top to bottom. Okay, well this is top, left to, and then left to right. This is the this is the final point. This is the the last last point. The bottom part is usually where the exit is. So the other thing we can do is then we can take our OV and we can put our E inside of here. Now there's several ways to do it. One would be to put the the E here. Now some people say, well that's a little confusing. It might be L E V. Now that's no, it's not L E V. Why? Because L E V L, oh, sorry, people say, think this would be L-O-E-V, because they say the E is above the V, as you can see. It's not, because L-E-V, L, or sorry, O-E-V looks like this. This is O, sorry, O-E-V. This is O-E-V. Sorry, this can get confusing when you're trying to explain it. And this is O-V-E. O-V-E can also be this. That is also O-V-E. You can put it under properly, but I don't see any need to because because this is the EV, you don't need to make anything clear. It's unambiguous. I really like that version, and I'll show you why. Let's do our little L. Big O. V. E. I'm very fond of this word love. It's kind of nice, and it maybe looks like some kind of person or something. I've had some other people make some more... Um, slightly more vulgar uh, comments on what it might look like. Uh, the other thing we can do to just kind of pretty it up a bit, we can make the L a little curved to make to add to that that circular effect of the, the O, and then we could even make the, the ratios and proportions not quite equal. And then give different angles and stuff. So you can make it look like a whole lot of things if you try. Have some fun with it and play with it. Find the designs that you like best.